Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's reading. I've got six groups today. I'm sorry if you can't quite see number four here. Um, so today's reading is really fun. It's who is thinking about you today? So this is kind of like romantically or, you know, in that way, if you know what I mean. So who is thinking about you today? So please feel free to pause the video, choose a group, and then we can get on with today's reading. By the way, just please check the description box for all the links, link to my other channel, all of that good stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, I've got so many groups today. I haven't done a six one for ages and I just fancied it. Hi number ones, how are you doing? Right, this is super fun today guys, so don't take it too seriously. So who is thinking about you in that special way? And I'm going to read it entirely intuitively. And it is... totally fun so we've got detox consult an expert and the tower so this person is probably quite a healthy person this is someone who could be vegan could be vegetarian someone possibly a non-drinker this is someone who is super healthy who takes care of themselves this person could be an expert in their field this is someone who knows what they're talking about um yeah, he's an expert of some sort, okay? And a healthy expert, okay? But this person is also going through some difficulty at the moment. So this person that's thinking about you in a romantic or a special way today is going through some difficulty. But this is how you'll recognise them. This is someone who's very, very healthy, possibly a non-drinker, an expert in their field, but they're having a hard time. This person is thinking about you romantically today. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this fun, very short reading, guys. Um, I hope this uh, you recognise this person. Let me know in the comments. See you on the next reading. Hi, number twos, how are you doing? Guys, this is a super fun, almost a bit silly reading today. It's three cards. I'm reading it entirely intuitively. And so this is, who is, think, who is this person who is thinking about you in a real romantic, if you know what I mean, way today? Oh. Okay, no, right, okay, fine. Okay, so this person is really super, super down to earth, very, which is funny with the hot air balloons, but anyway, um, really down to earth, really practical, bit of a daredevil, might be into extreme sports or um, living life on the edge. They're not especially intuitive. They're not particularly spiritual. Uh, they're much more, you see, they've got this person, these people hot air ballooning, this person riding in the sea, you know, oh, it said mermaid actually, but you know, like, I see this as almost like a connection with like water sports, hot air ballooning. This is someone who likes adventure, who likes action, possibly who's a, someone who likes travel. They're not an intuitive person. And this person is the person who is thinking about you in that special way today. So I hope you recognize the person. Please let me know in the comments if you want to. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed this fun. If Slightly silly reading. <laughs> Hi, number threes. Okay, so this is a little bit of a fun reading, number threes, okay? So it's three cards. I'm reading it entirely intuitively. And it's all about who is that person that is thinking about you in that special way, if you know what I mean, in a romantic way today. So who is thinking about you in that special way today? Okay, give it to God. This person could be re religious, um, with it being give it to God. This person could be spiritual if not religious, but this is someone who lets go and lets God. This is someone who trusts the flow of life. Uh, this is someone who is quite intuitive, or like I say, has a relationship with God of some sort. This is someone who is 
super helpful, who's really kind, who thinks of other people, um, who wants to take care of other people. Um, this is a really, this could almost be like, which is, seems totally inappropriate after what I've just said about, uh, you know, seeing you in a romantic way, but this could almost be like a religious figure. But you know, this is someone who, I'm thinking of someone like, um, you know, someone who's very caring, someone who's very, um, just a really decent person who really cares for people. This is also someone who works very hard and someone who's really keen on perfecting their profession, perfecting their craft, working hard, is is quite um, like got an eye for detail, wants to really perfect what they do and make sure they do everything really well. So this person is the person that today is thinking about you in that very special way. So number three is I hope you enjoyed this um, fun, if, be, if not slightly silly reading. <laughs> See you on the next reading guys. I love you. Please like and subscribe. Hi number fours. Um, if you're watching all of these, you're going to get sick of listening to me saying the same thing at the beginning. But I forget to say it at the beginning. And then I need to say it at the start of every group. But anyway. Guys, this is a slightly silly reading. Okay. So this is who is thinking about you today in that kind of special way, if you know what I mean. Um, it's three cards. I'm reading it entirely intuitively. Mm. Right, this makes absolutely no sense with the cards, but when I saw this, it could be someone that works nights, <laughs> who works shifts, okay, <laughs> I suppose it's because of the new dawn and then the darkness here, it's like dark and light and day, so this could be someone who works shifts. This is definitely not someone who is a clear thinker. We've got the Ace of Swords, which is like clarity of thought, aha, realisation, and then we've got clear the fog. This is someone who has got quite foggy ideas, or they're a bit kind of laid back, they don't kind of, they're not, you wouldn't say that they're a real sharp thinker, they kind of go with the flow, they don't really, they don't see things very clearly. This could be either like a, somebody who's a bit bumbly and a bit like, unclear, a bit like I'm being now, <laughs> or it could be someone who's just so laid back that they're not like a sharp thinker. Um, yeah, I feel it's more the second. It could be someone who's a bit bumbly and a bit confused and all that, but I see it more as someone who's like really laid back because I see this card, a new dawn, as being like almost like a surfer dude. This is someone or like a new age person like kind of you know like someone who's kind of like either really zenned out or whatever you know is kind of really really laid back really sort of fun wants to hang out at the beach very natural maybe into yeah I just see this person at the beach having not necessarily doing the sports but it could be doing the sport um but you know this is someone who's really natural, really relaxed, goes with the flow, and he's not super into overthinking things. It could be someone intuitive, but they're not, a, you know, they're not obsessed with clarity of thought. It's more like be with nature, go with the flow, very new age. So this is the person who's thinking about you today, number fours. See you on the next reading. Hi, number fives. How are you doing? Number fives, this is a super silly reading today, really, because this is who is thinking about you today. So this is a description, entirely intuitive. I've got three cards, and this is the person who's thinking about you in that special way, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Okay interesting so this is a person who likes to have fun 
this is a person who likes to um, enjoy themselves um, yeah it's interesting actually because this is someone who likes to have fun and likes to enjoy themselves and likes to have um, be out there enjoying themselves and, and, and being quite silly and being quite childlike but at the same time we've got this um, accept heaven's help and then we've got the mention of prayer I feel like this is someone who has a rich inner life as well so this is someone who is also religious or spiritual and they, they've got a bit of all they've got a bit of everything this person so they might almost seem to you a bit of a chameleon with the yeah I just wondered as well you know with this king of swords it could be like a Gemini I feel like it's someone who has kind of like a few different faces or wears a few different hats because in one way they're like really really good fun and quite childlike but then in another way they're quite deep and spiritual but in another way they're a real deep thinker and clear thinker and cool thinker they're clear-headed they've got the ability to really think things through and they're also quite um this king of swords always feels to me like quite um the King of Swords always feels quite sort of like a very strong, masculine businessman, very cool, very calm, very collected. And yet we've got to have fun. So this person is kind of a real mixed bag. Absolutely. So they've got different sides to them. I think you'll know who this is, number fives. Yes. Guys, I'll see you on the next reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Hi there guys, right number six, this is a very kind of silly reading today um, based on who is thinking about you today in that special way if you know what I mean. I'm going to read it entirely intuitively. Okay. This person's an innocent. Okay, this person is an innocent. This is someone who wakes up with like, you know, the joy of life in them. You know, they rise and shine. Like, this card kind of means like, um, it's advice. These cards are like advice. And it's like, you know, start every day afresh. Start every day anew. You know, have a positive attitude to every day, you know, when you get up. And this person is like that. They, they have that innocence and that believe, they believe that it will all turn out all right in the end, you know? Um, and they have this innocence. And I saw that with this, um, with the child, the baby here. You know, they have that sort of sense that it will all be all right. And they've got that sort of like belief in them and that joy in them and that, that innocence and that love and that, happiness that comes from having that strong belief that everything's going to be okay um they're also if you look at the image on this card i always think she looks so vulnerable obviously this is the card protection but i'm more looking at this from a, pic a pictorial point of view so this person whilst they have all this joy and exuberance they're they're kind of vulnerable as well which makes them really attractive and, and they really bring this sense of abundance, this Ace of Pentacles. You know, they just bring something to your life. They're just so full of joy. And they really bring something tangible to you and to your life. And they're just so sweet and cute and lovable. Um, so this is the person who is thinking about you in a very romantic way today. So hmm, I hope you know who it is. And please let me know in the comments if you'd like to, you know, that if you uh, resonated with this reading. And so much love to you, number sixes. And I'll see you on the next reading. See you guys tomorrow. Lots of love.